then don't you think this is a bit of a contradictory when you talk about um, Kenyans don't really know how to save, so to speak. We are really with a high cost of living currently. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, the president talked about you have to perhaps give me a year before even the price of unga can come down from 200. So then how do you reconcile that? It's all about budgeting um, because uh, w when you get a salary, for example, you usually pay for one, two, three, you pay for your shopping, you pay for your rent, you pay maybe 10% of your tithe, you pay the tithe 10%, you pay your debts, but do you save? Mm -hmm. So even with the high cost of living, it doesn't mean that you cannot save. You will still be able to save. However, as I'm saying, mm -hmm. uh, you need to budget for that. Okay. Ideally, you should uh, save 20% of your earnings or of your income. At least 20% of your income should go to savings. So it doesn't matter how much you are earning. You need to start somewhere. Um, because yes, we have the high cost of living. That one I agree. But how then uh, do you survive for tomorrow? How do you take your children uh, to school tomorrow if you are not saving? How do you, uh, for instance, purchase a plot where you need to build if you are not saving? Uh, chances are you will go for a loan for all these things. And if you go for a loan, it will get you deeper into debt. Mm -hmm. So regardless of how much you are earning, you must start saving. You must start saving because I usually tell people, if you have savings and you go to a bank or you come to SMEP and you want a loan, um, if you have your own savings, if you need, if you have a, something like a piece of land that is going for, let's say, one million shillings, and you have already saved 500 shillings, so you just need half of that money. So it means your loan obligations will be lesser as opposed to when you come to the bank and you want the full million shillings. Mm. So you must budget regardless of the amount of money that you are earning. And as I said, 20% goes to savings. <laughs> then the rest follows. Mm -hmm. So at least you have that percent to do because if you do 20% savings and you give 10% as tithe, mm -hmm. the 70% the, the <laughs> will, 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 will sort itself. Mm -hmm.